All right, Twisted Christian back uh, with another video uh, dealing with my last video about the Great Wealth Transfer. So you guys, if you guys haven't checked it out, please check it out. It also should appear at the very end of this video too as well. Now some of the things I'm going to be discussing, I'm going to be going over first of all uh, what he was saying and give you my thoughts on those. And then also I'm going to be discussing how you can be a part of the Great Wealth Transfer. All right. And I was telling people and people, I, it was over and over and over again. What do you mean by that? It, that it's at a cost. Nobody gets any money for free. You know, it's very rarely that you're going to meet somebody and they're just going to write you a check for a million dollars. It happens, but it's, it, it does not happen. It doesn't happen hardly at all. Right. There are stories where that has happened. But uh, if you guys are dependent on that, uh, you are going to be disappointed. You know, everything comes at a cost. Even when even when the lottery is, is at a hundred million dollars, it still comes at a cost. You still have to put the dollar in. Uh, if people who uh, became millionaires off of Bitcoin, you still had to put money into it in order to become the millionaire. In order for you to become a millionaire off of Amazon stock, you had to have put money into it. These things come at a cost. So that's what I mean by at a cost. So in this first video he said i saw the surrender of masses of wealth coming from the east to the united states of america and the west now he was talking about china and and i shared in this particular video he had said in 2002 he saw that this was all this was happening okay well since china has joined the wto in 2000 in the end of 2001 well, you can see here that the U.S. trade deficit is humongous. You know, the United States and other countries, not just the United States, but other countries have lost jobs to China manufacturing. Right. And you see um, on here, I say, you know, you can see where they've hacked companies and governments and financial institutions worldwide. State sponsored. They've manipulated their currency so that they could benefit from the United States as well as other countries especially from the West, right? And then now we have a full-blown trade and currency war uh, the United States does with China. So it's all leading up to this. This whole thing with, I don't know how it's all going to play out. Eventually, a, a deal is going to be signed. If there isn't one signed, then obviously then the President of the United States and the West are going to have to come up with a different strategy plan. And so will a lot of other countries. Other countries in Asia, in the Middle East, in East Asia, South America, they're going to have to be doing something different. All right, so that's part of this right here is part of what's happening or leading up to the wealth transfer. This is what's going to lead up to currencies revaluing. Right. And I've showed you uh, before with gold and, and what they're doing with gold. I do have a video coming out um, about an update with what's going on with gold. And uh, you're going to you're going to be alarmed of what China and some other countries are currently doing right now, just within the last 30 days. And in this particular video, it says, by the way, I'm hearing something in the spirit. What is the dinar? Hasn't been time. Hasn't been time. Sudden change. So for those that are investing I cannot tell you to purchase them to do this or purchase them but for those who are holding on nothing 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 then suddenly something now one of the biggest things that uh, one of some of the comments I still get well when is the RV gonna happen well I'm gonna tell you if you have to keep asking about that you are gonna be one of those who are gonna end up being broke after it's all said and done now, I'm doing a video about that, uh, Currency 365, and Benny uh, has talked about what's going to happen after the dinar, and, some, and there's going to be people who are going to be, they're going to be so distraught because you're going to make a lot of mistakes, especially with the 800 numbers, but I'll deal with that in, in another video. But if you have to keep asking when the RV is, then you have no clue of what's going on, and you have no clue of investing or anything else all you know is that you have Iraqi dinars and you're constantly you know you're in the chat rooms you're asking the same questions and you know what there's not there's never going to be a perfect environment for this to happen and that's one thing that I realize is that we were all looking for Iraq to be in this perfect position 
But you know what? Iraq is doing a lot better than a lot of other countries that are around them. Uh, and we just hear in the news, you know, when people do mention the Middle East, they always think of what's going on in Iraq. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. For I have excitement for you, says the Spirit, though you are surrounded by fear, doom, and gloom. I have set apart certain truths for my people to prosper. And I say to you, it now, it has now begun. Okay, first of all, he said there are certain truths for my people to prosper. So what is what are those truths? They have spoken of the dinar. Okay, they have spoken of amazing discoveries, the big E, synchrotron. I have spoken these things that they would be manifest, but yet there has been a cover upon these things. I say to you, I will release them one at a time because this is the beginning of acceleration. Now, we don't know the order exactly. I mean, if you're going to be a part of uh, these amazing discoveries in synchrotron, well, you're going to have to be able to invest in those. So still, these things that he speaks of, because actually Kim Clement sp speaks of eight different wells. And if one of those is the dinar, if one of those is the dinar, well, imagine what some of these other wells could bring, right? So you have to be in position. You have to be ready. Some of you aren't ready. I mean, how many of you right now uh, are signed up with any kind of trading platform like Robinhood? You know, I always put my Robinhood link below. You don't have to go and purchase any stocks, but when you do sign up, you get a free one. But it's just so that you're ready. If Currency 365 and and some uh, some other people, or even myself, we have some important information about a particular stock, you you're not ready. You're gonna have to hurry up and sign up, and then you're gonna have to get approved. And what if that stock is on a, an exchange? Uh, like TD Ameritrade, you might have to wait two or three days and boom, you've missed it. So you have to put yourself into a position to be able to receive whatever is being said out there. Because, you know, once this thing goes through, once the, the dinar goes through, there's going to be plenty of other opportunities to invest. And if you're not ready, you're going to miss out. That's just all there is to it. You're going to miss out and then you're going to then you're going to run out of money and that you, you're going to wish that you had held back so that you could invest in the big E and Synchrotron and, and whatever the other five wells are. So you have to be prepared. It says that they have been a cover upon these things, and he says he's going to release them one at a time. Okay, so when the, so that, that kind of relates to what I was saying about the dinar, right? Are there going to be currencies that go after the dinar? That's going to give you an opportunity, and that's going to give you to an opportunity to invest. Yes, there's going to be chances. I believe that there will be. That's my opinion. But the thing about it is, if you give your money away to a private group, if you give your money away to the banks, uh, what Currency 365 about signing uh, NDAs, and you start giving your money away, and then these things come up, and you're not going to have anything, because when this thing happens, there's going to be a lot of people that did not invest and they're going to try some ways somehow even people right now you know you're not getting any more information because this thing is just going to pop off all we have is indicators right some of the indicators that I've shared with you I have a video about that uh, currency 365 has talked about indicators Benny's talked about indicators you know and one one of the things that you guys have to understand is that nobody is perfect nobody is perfect I've been wrong about certain things. Other people have been wrong about certain things. But we're here to share information. We might share our theories. All right. Again. Okay. So I'm going to go over this next one. The Spirit of God is speaking now over the region of Iraq, over the region of Iran, over the regions of the Middle East and South Southern Asia. The earth has shaken and shall shake again. But God said, I am speaking that I may release resources and there will be a grave surrender that will take place in the months to come. There we go. All right, the grave surrender. So the grave surrender, in my opinion now, has to do with the financial system. It has to do with America making its deals so that the wealth can come back to the United States and back to the West. However that happens, you know, whether it's part of the U.S.-China deal or some other kind of deals, uh, that all is going to be remains to be seen. And he says, I want to free you, every one of you, my people, to be able to stretch out their hand to the lonely, to the hungry, to the poor, and feed them and clothe them. This is my desire, says the Lord. So for those of you who are invested, right, and you have good intentions and your heart is in it, this is what we're supposed to do. But we're also, too, supposed to be smart because, 
Kim Clement said there are eight wells and the dinar is just one of them. So if you can, if you can, the, the amount of money that you do invest in the dinar, you have seven other wells, whether those wells come, maybe one or two come before or after, you're going to have the opportunity to invest even more. So if you, so so when the global reset happens, you become a multimillionaire. Well, guess what? It's going to be easy for you to dig the next well. It's going to be easy for you to next to dig the next two wells. But you're going to have to be smart because there are going to be people that are going to be coming after your wealth. And it's not just the 800 numbers. It's not just uh, the banks. But you're going to have family members, you know, and and there are going to be some things that you're going to have to do that once this thing hits. You might actually have to go to get to a point to where you're going to have to basically maybe even hide because you have told and you like you've posted on Facebook about uh, the dinar and the dinar prophecies. You've told friends, you've told family, family members, and they're and they've ignored you. Right. So when this happens, you know, they're going to be coming to you like, hey, you know, you I mean, you very well could be a target. you got to remember there are people that have won the lottery and they became targets, right? If you watch, if you've ever watched that show um, about people winning the lottery, I mean, there are people literally, there are people literally like when somebody wins the lottery, you got people driving by their house and leaving notes asking for money. You got family members, they have stories where, where people were multimillionaires and their family just drained them of all their resources, there are people who went into bankruptcy. There are people who committed suicide. There were people that were that had been that had been killed because they sought after what they what they had. So if your heart is in the right place with this, I understand. We all want to live decently. We all want to live nice, you know. And I totally understand that. But remember, and especially if you don't have that much, and I'm speaking to those who say, you know, you only have two hundred dollars worth, or three hundred, or five hundred dollars worth. Well, guess what? You're going to need to hold on to that. When it does change in value, so you can dig the next well, right? Because he said it's going to be acceleration, right? So boom, if if the dinar revalues and you have an opportunity to 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 spend a few thousand dollars on some other currencies that haven't changed in value yet, boom, there there's some there's some little wells there. If you have the opportunity to take five thousand dollars and invest in the big E, boom, there's another well, right? Whatever synchrotron is. Uh, you have the opportunity to invest. Boom. See, and that's why you have to pay attention and listen to what we are saying. Uh, whether it's uh, Currency 365, myself, Benny. I know a lot of people don't agree uh, with Benny, but you know what? He does. He does come with some good information, and we do watch what Kim Clement says. We do watch. We do watch and see what these wells are. And that's going to be important, especially for some of those who, like I said, you don't have that much dinar. Then he says there shall be a break in the financial system in the Middle East, the dinar. And then he shall say, why, why now? And God said, when things seem at the worst, I shall bring it forth and I shall free them up. So he said there's going to be a break in the financial system in the Middle East. Now, if you guys understand, the Middle East is actually East Asia. It was actually kind of renamed, but there are a lot of countries in the Middle East, or what they call the Middle East, and he talks about the dinar. He didn't say there will be a break in the financial system in Asia, the dong, and then he shall say, say, why, why now? I'm going to expand a little bit on that, and there is a lot of things that are going on in the world now. If you look at Venezuela, you look at Argentina, you look at what's going on with China and Hong Kong, uh, you look at and you look at what's going on in Australia, the political div divide. A lot of different places are suffering financially, especially Ven especially the South America. For some people who live in a lot of countries, things always seem at their worst, right? If you if you live in Honduras and and you and your the air you live in is just is just so bad you're in fear all the time and you've been living like that for years so to them it's always at their worst so this has to be some type of worldwide thing that's going on so it, it's it's going to be it's going to be 
now I, I think also too you may even see some a lot of military confrontations that, that's going on in Asia and China and you know there's some things going on with you know v- Vietnam and all those countries in Asia where you know China's just trying to bully their way you know to the oil and, and everything else that's in that area all right so that's that's the whole thing is that we don't expect if you look at all the mainstream media articles about Iraq you're not expecting no but it's expecting the dinar to change in value. I mean, come on, we're going on what? We're going on 15 years and with a four year break because of they were invaded. A- after all of that, there's still no change. I mean, you can't even, you can't even still to this day go, t- go, you can only buy it online. You can't go to a bank and get it. I mean, if you look all the way up to 2000, from 2001 through t- 2014. Everything was going pretty well. They were building. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but you can you can still go and buy some of these countries, uh, some of these currencies that these uh, they're in turmoil. You can still go to the bank and still buy some of those. But I do I do want to touch on uh, why why now, right? Because you see, there's a lot of and, and especially here in the United States, a lot of things are restricted in the media. There's a lot of things restricted on the internet and a lot of people think oh we're free we can just you know when you start when you start typing in certain things and you're like wait a minute I this has nothing you know I'm if I type in something a problem in a whole another country I'm getting articles about Trump and that has nothing to do with what's going on in that country it's absolutely ridiculous but just to kind of give you an idea right if you look see what's going on in Argentina Right, Argentina's uh, 48% stock route, second biggest in the past 70 years. All right, so you see what's going on with that. You got Venezuela, right, and over in uh, Europe, you have the Yellow Fest uh, demonstrations going on. You have what's going on in in Hong Kong, right? So, and then you have um, Brexit, and you got all these countries like here in Eastern or in Europe. You know, there's there is a lot of turmoil. There's a there's if you just type in individual countries and you just type in the word protest after that, there's literally protest going on all around the world right now. Right. They're doing it in different countries in South America. They're doing it in uh, Hong Kong. They're doing it in India. They're doing it in a lot of the Middle Eastern countries. Right. There are demonstrations going on everywhere. People are fed up. So, and then you have this whole thing with the whole China and U.S. deal going on with the trade wars. Well, it's causing a lot of stock markets all around the world to fall. A lot of currencies are falling. So, so when we get to the why, why now, I don't think we're really at that point. You look at the United States, you know, we're in a political divide right now. And it's absolutely ridiculous that some of the things that uh, that the left and right are fighting about. I mean, these. I mean, these are just things that are just ma- that makes common sense. Common sense things about immigration. If you look at other countries, you know, and their immigration policies, they're very, very strong. They're a lot. They're a lot stronger than ours, and they have walls and everything else. I mean, if you look at the amount of, and you know, this is what really bothers me, especially from those who are on the left. The African American community has been devastated by South America and Mexico because of the drug running that's been going on, especially over the last 40 years. In the black community, uh, the guns and the drugs and everything else, the situation has got so bad. But now, now, you know, you see. You see all these left people fighting for other groups. They don't fight for African Americans anymore. I mean, nothing has changed in in the cities when it comes to the poorest of the poor in the African American communities. Nothing has really changed. It's the same. Now, of course, there's a lot of thriving African American communities. Overall, just a lot of things just have not changed. So, like I said, if you look all around the world, you'll just see like a lot of the different. There's just protest everywhere. Uh, also, Russia too. They're, they're, they got protests going on there. So there's just a lot of this turmoil that's going on that the mainstream media is not reporting. They're not reporting all these things. You know why? Because 
for us, at least here in the United States, if they if if people start seeing people protest in the way that they are, I mean, everything the protest that's going on in France has been going on for what, how many months now? And they're not giving up. That's what they don't want. Uh, so when it comes to the why, why now, I think it's going to be something that uh, I think the economy, the economy, the worldwide economy is going to be like at a, it's going to be coming at a stretching point to where, okay, something has to be done. I showed you an article about how one country was going to have to go through shock therapy. Uh, they need a shock to their economy. And I believe that that's part of uh, all these countries we're valuing, you know, and, uh, you know, like I said, all these countries are buying gold. They're buying gold because they want to stabilize their currencies, at least try to stabilize their currencies. But one of the things is they don't understand is that the United States has more oil and more gold than any other country. So we're going to be able to respond to what I call the economic attacks against the United States. And it's in those things, which you guys have to understand, especially if you, it doesn't matter which country you live in. If you're invested in the dinar, this is going to benefit you. It's going to benefit you greatly. And let's say if you're from India. Now, if I lived in India and they're saying that the, uh, that the rupee is going to re- change in value, you know, because your guys, the rupee should be way higher than what it is. The exchange rate should be higher. Uh, I would be like, okay, well, if I'm holding on to, if I have 5,000 rupees and it's going to change in value and my, and the, and the value of the rupees is going to go up, well, I'm going to try to hold on to as many rupees as I can. So whatever country that you live in, when this global economic reset, the currency reset happens, whatever country you're in, at least a lot of these countries, the money that you currently hold right now is going to go up in value. So not only whatever you know, if you live in India and you have uh, rupees and you're trying to hold on to as many rupees as you can because you know that there's a change coming, well, you're going to benefit that way too as well. You're not just going to benefit just from the dinar. You're going to benefit from the entire global reset system. So when it comes to the why, why now, uh, I also just think too there's going to be – there might be some military things going on too as well. Not, not just the protest, but military things, economic things. And it's going to be, it's, I believe it's going to be one of those things that's going to be a world, it's going to be more, everything is going to seem like it's going to be stretched, right? And those people who, uh, I think Currency365 said it, you know, because of all the bad news about Iraq and everything else, why, why now, you know? And for a long time, we've looked for perfect conditions for the Central Bank of Iraq to do what it's doing. And I don't think that we're going to ever see perfect conditions, you know, not going to, uh, root out 100% of crime and corruption. And, uh, you're not going to get every city and every place is not going to have an ATM in it. Not every place is going to be suitable for electricity and everything else. And you know what? The why, why now? I mean, if you look at the conditions of what's going on in the world, it, c- it could happen tomorrow. It really could happen tomorrow. And they're saying, why, why now? Why are you doing this now? But there shall be a break in the financial system. That's going to be the dinar. Now, if you guys want to be a part of this, like I said, everything comes at a cost. Uh, there are you can go to your local. You got Chase Bank, you got uh, Bank of America. They're all online right now. You can't buy Iraqi dinars online. I mean, you can right now. You cannot buy Iraqi dinar at banks. Again, there are other currencies that we've discussed. All right, now I'm going to do this part, but I'm also going to make a separate video about this, uh, about being part of the global economic reset. And with the dinar being the leader, uh, then I can show you, explain to you the steps and what you have to do in order to be a part of it. Because uh, you have to know, like I was telling you in the beginning of the video, everything comes at a cost. Even if you play the lottery, you still have to put a dollar in it to play the lottery. So it still costs you. So you could go to your, you can go to your local banks uh, that deal in foreign currency and if uh, if you have no banks in your area, then what you need to do is you need to do what you need to do your research and you need to find out which banks deal with foreign currency, figure out which ones you want to buy, and then go up there, uh, give them a call and ask them what their process is, and then place your order. Now, as far as buying IQD, right, because that's part of the global economic reset. I'm not telling you to buy because I can't do that. But for those who are invested or people who are interested in investing, there are several different sites which I am not associated with. You have Safe Dinar, right? They've been around for a while. And you can see 
what you can do. That's this is just one site. The other one is Treasury Vault, right? They have other currencies as well. You can buy all the different uh, dinars that they currently have, uh, the dong, and and other you know in other currencies. Some of these currencies, uh, you know, like I said, uh, there's many currencies I think that are going to change in value, uh, either around the same time or shortly after. And this is the uh, Exchange of America. That is the one that I have been buying all my foreign currency. I, I've used different websites in the past, uh, but this is the one that, I, that I've that i never had any problems with them at all whatsoever. They have multiple currencies, and that's one of the reasons why I use this, because they have more currencies than everyone else. So when the time comes for me, when I uh, when this whole global reset takes place, Right. I can just go straight here. Right. My, I'm already signed up. If I'm already signed up and ready to go, I'll be able to I'll be able to put I already have the money in the bank and I'll be able to go. OK, all these currencies haven't all the ones all these currencies haven't revalued you. None of these that I think that have changed in value have changed in value. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go ahead and buy these currencies. So you have to be prepared. So when this thing takes place, you can start you can start digging the next well, right? You can start digging the next well, the next well. And so and if you and especially if you have a lot, if you have a lot of other money to invest in, uh, you know, you don't have to invest very much. Right. So if if you have, say, you know, five, you know, after the currency reset, you have five million dollars. Well, you don't have to take very much money to invest in the other currencies that haven't changed in value. And then, boom, when those do change, in my opinion, when those others do change in value, right, you've just, you just dug, you just, you just struck gold in those wells. So that's all I just wanted to say about uh, what Kim Clement was saying and just kind of give a, a little bit more, uh, more of my opinion on certain things. And guys, when this thing does happen, please, please, and I'm going to do a video on this, please do not give your dinars away to any private group do not call the wet 800 numbers there are things there are going to be some security things that you are going to need to do after this happens and i'll do another video on that um, i've talked about some of the things before in another video but when this thing takes place you're going to have a lot of people trying to get at your wealth so all i'm just saying people is be prepared to start digging your wells twisted christian out